one of the more useful but also tricky to calculate sample statistics is sample variance. I'm going to show you how to calculate it quickly and easy, easily using a simplified formula. Before we get to the formula, let's define variance. Uh, there are several statistics to measure variation or spread, but variance turns out to be the most useful. The formula is not terribly intuitive. It's defined to be the average of squared deviations from the mean. That's these guys right here. And notice the average is kind of funny because it's n minus 1, which is required to make it unbiased. What's this business with sigma hat squared? Well, that just indicates that sample variance estimates the true variance, and we have to estimate it because we never really know it. To get to the simplified formula, we need to take a little time out for algebra just to see what's going on. Okay, We need to simplify the formula because using the definition formula, is prone to error because of these squared deviations. So we're going to turbocharge the formula by simplifying it. We'll take that numerator with the deviations and we'll expand it using FOIL. Then we'll take these three parts and split them into three separate sums uh, and then factor out the constants. When we say factor out the constants, that's anything without a subscript. You know, that's that thing sub i. Now, if we take advantage of the fact that the sum of all the observations is just n times the mean, we can clean up that numerator and get it into this form. Um, and that, that could be written in a couple of different ways. One is the sum of squares minus n times the mean squared. And the other is the sum of squares minus the square of the sum divided by n. Once we take that new numerator and plug it into the formula, we get these two equivalent formulas. One that uses the mean and one that uses the sum of the observations. The second one is interesting because it's using what are called sufficient statistics. Learn more about those in graduate school. We need the sample size. We need the sum. And we need the sum of squares only to calculate variance. So let's use these simplified formula and calculate a variance. So here's a sample of size 5. We're going to find the sufficient statistics and then plug them into the formula. So start with the sum y sub i 2 plus 3 plus 2.5 minus 8 plus 10 and that gives us 9.5. Then we'll add up the squares, and that'll be 4, and 9, and 6.25, a plus 64, and 100, giving 183.25. Of course, n is 5. So now we'll plug them in. Sample variance is oops, 183.25 minus 9.5 squared over 5. Divide all that by 5 minus 1. And a bit of calculator work gives us 41.3. How uh, about using sufficient statistics? Oh, here they've already been calculated for, so all we have to do is plug them in. S squared, 1025, minus 
120 squared over 25 divided by 25 minus 1. And again, a bit of calculator work gives us 18.71.